Hey everyone, it's Jason Pannone, Head of Reference and Cultural Assets Manager here at the East Hartford Public Library. For this installment of Raiders of the Lost Archive, I am going to talk about a lithograph that we have in our collection that was done by the famous lithographer and photographer Napoleon Cerrone sometime in the mid to late 19th, 19th century. It's a really cool piece. Uh, I think it says a lot about social customs at the time, social mores, class distinctions. Um, plus it's kind of, it's just an interesting piece. Uh, and Cerrone is a really interesting character. And there is some interesting connection. I don't know if the connection is the right word to East Hartford, but it's sort of a six degrees of separation kind of thing that I'll talk about uh, as we look into the painting and the, litho the lithograph rather and talk a little bit about Cerrone and his life. Napoleon Cerrone was born in 1821 in Quebec, in Canada. Came to the United States around 1836, rather, and worked for Courier and Ives, the famous lithographers. We all know them from calendars and such. Uh, then he started his own lithograph business in 1843. And... He uh, ran that company until 1867 when he left and formed a photography studio uh, and basically photographed celebrities. It was a very popular thing in the late 19th century. And Cerrone basically photographed the A-list. If you were anyone like Mark Twain, Oscar Wilde, even Nikola Tesla uh, was photographed by Cerrone. What Cerrone would do he would pay them to sit for him, but then he would retain rights over the further use of those photos so he could sell them and then make a profit off it. Um, he's a very, very, very colorful character. As you can see from this photo, he liked to dress up in eccentric costumes. Uh, he and his wife, uh, his second wife, Louie, she was also very eccentric and she would rent costumes uh, and then walk around Washington Square in New York every day and then return them. I mean, they would both dress and they were quite colorful figures. Uh, the business folded in the early 20th century. The son uh, ran the business until uh, he died. So there you go. There's that little bit about Cerrone right there. So here's our lithograph. And you might ask, well, what is a lithograph? Basically, it's a printing made from a stone with a smooth surface, um, and then the design is etched onto the surface, and a print is made from there. I'm researching it right now. It's a very complicated process, and it's going to take more than this video to talk about it, so I'm going to throw it on in the description of this video so you can learn more in case you're interested. This particular uh, lithograph is called The Courtesies of the Weed, and you can see a 19th century dandy in his fancy clothes offering a light to uh, a street urchin, a ragamuffin. You can tell he's poor. He's probably much lower class. Um, so the lithograph itself is a very interesting commentary on 19th century social mores, on class, on all sorts of things. But all of that smoking is kind of the great leveler in the view of this lithograph. And obviously we are not encouraging smoking in any way, shape, or form. Just that at the time, asking somebody for a light kind of momentarily, even for those brief seconds, blurred class distinctions where normally these two individuals would never meet in, or interact in any way, shape, or form. So it, it's kind of a neat thing. Um, and I did mention that there's kind of a six degrees of separation with... Uh, East Hartford, Cerrone was friends with Mark Twain. Mark Twain, as we know, lived in Hartford for a number of years. The architect who built Mark Twain's house also built the Chapel of the Good Shepherd at what's now Coltsville, and he also built St. John's Episcopal here in East Hartford. And also, interestingly, the protagonist of Mark Twain's A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, Hank, is from East Hartford. It says so right in the first page. So indirect, kind of six degrees of separation, like I said, but it is still kind of a neat connection to East Hartford beyond the obvious tobacco um, connection. So there you go. 
it's a neat little piece of art. And when we reopen, I hope you come check it out in our rare books room where it hangs. And uh, there you go. So stay safe. We'll see you next time. And until then, keep washing your hands, wear your masks, and practice safe social distancing. See you later. Bye.